Good morning, guys. How do you like my crazy lion's mane? Two days in a row before this would be a first so I'm about to head out to go for my hair and makeup um, trial for my wedding day and they asked me to wash my hair the night before and just dry it and just don't put any product in it don't have like any curls in it just like leave it so this is how frizzy and crazy well whatever my hair's always frizzy actually but yeah this is how yeah I'm married <laughs> That looks ridiculous. I can't believe I'm showing this. Let's calm that shit down. So yeah, um, and then I, I didn't put any makeup. I just like put some moisturizer and uh, hopefully it works out. Hopefully it goes well. I guess I'm going to bring the tiara that's broken. Just in case I end up getting a replacement tiara just so I can see how that works. I'm going to bring my veil and that's it so you guys remember my friend kata Hi. and she's coming with me because i think i have good taste in hair and makeup but it's different like what Second looks opinion. good on you like you know i may think oh this looks good or that looks good and somebody else you want what other i want to see what other people are going to see so i want to know from her eyes like what looks good and stuff like that so so exciting yeah so we're gonna go do that Wedding and then stuff. what else i don't know that's it we'll see <laughs> okay we'll see you guys later. bye, bye. <laughs> what do you think? I like it. Sorry, I was on my phone. No, that's okay. It tastes delicious. I like it. I like it because it's like you said, more, more body, less like ringlets, more like big waves. It's not steamed and clipped in, but we get the idea, right? I can't let him see this after though. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> okay, I like it. Do you look beautiful? Oh. Certain versus a match mate. Yeah. To a certain. Like I'll watch it a little bit, but I'm not gonna watch like that much. I'd be like screw this. Jen, do you feel like a bride yet? It looks nice. I don't know. I think it's good. Yes, very nice. I think these colors is like it's what I wanted because like the lipstick isn't quite like Red. deep and dark, but it, we're yeah. getting into fall. You know what I mean? So I think you should reveal all day. I want to. Okay. Okay, guys. So now we are going to head over to my favorite. Um, Vietnamese restaurant for some fresh rolls and I'm so starving and so excited which we're, we're gonna be healthy healthy we were like all we're you hungry. can we were like all you can eat sushi again no I want Jen's sushi. gotta fit into a dress so we're gonna do oh wrong one we're gonna do uh, the fresh well I'm gonna do the fresh rolls and I'm very excited okay guys so I ordered a bunch of fresh rolls I ordered some tofu fresh rolls so here are the tofu, which you can't see too well, the tofu fresh rolls, and I got some grilled chicken uh, fresh rolls. And we have like a spicy peanut sauce, so good. Um, I love coming here because this feels like a cheat meal, but it's not like so many calories that will blow your day. So yeah, I'm so excited. So good. 
Jim is gonna be so jealous I came here without him. Brings him home. Never. Sorry, Jim. This bites. This bites for you. <laughs> you know you're a food addict when you dance for every bite because you're just so excited. Target makes you. It gives you happiness in your soul. I'm a foodie. I'm a foodie for life. It doesn't matter how long I'm gonna be on this weight loss journey, what weight I'm gonna be, I'm a foodie. Obsessed with food, love food. But like really, what's life without good food? A boring life. Yeah. Just that's why I just really try to make six out of the seven days super healthy so that I can enjoy that one day, right? I agree. You enjoying your pad thai? It's totally good. It's really spicy, but I like it. It's different than what I've had before. Mm. Just tell me how it is. Because mm. it's like, honestly, this pad thai so is unlike I love any, it. It's Look how juicy. It's nice flavor. It's so juicy. It's so good. It's different than any pad thai. I've yeah. Before. Honestly, Lucky Bamboo, I've told you guys this a thousand times. Best pad thai in Canada? <laughs> Obviously, Thailand might. What? <laughs> Are you crazy? Pick it up. Five second rule. Yeah, man. Oh my god, this is like I'm so excited. I have such a huge smile on my face because as I was leaving the restaurant, the the lady who works there is like, "You're so skinny now." And I'm like, "Ah! Yes, I'm so skinny. I'm a Barbie doll now." Oh, what an awesome comment. You're so like <laughs> I'm like leaving. She just like yells it across the restaurant. You're so skinny now. Yes. I've been eating here at this restaurant since I was 255 pounds. So see, yummy Vietnamese Thai food makes you skinny. Da -da -da. In moderation, people. This side stayed so good, and this side's like losing. Oh my god, it's been an hour. So on the wedding day? No, well she didn't really put too much spray. It'll be okay. I think, yeah. And I'm noticing now that we're in natural light, my face is orange. Especially compared to your face too. So I'm not I think, really wearing a foundation. Right, but I don't want to look orange. I don't want to look more natural. No, you don't want to go for the Oompa Loompa bride No, look. like, oh. you know. We could start a new trend. Jess. I don't think it works for my eyes. I don't think it matches my eyes in the Loompas. <laughs> yeah, so it needs to definitely be uh, lighter. Because if you could tell. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's not, honestly, like I'm looking at it in the light. Look at it's my chest. It's not that bad. Maybe because your hair is, or maybe just my eyes are like horrible. Look at my chest. Yeah, it's a little bit. You know, I think it's the powder, though, too, that she put. It could be. I don't know. Anyways, Jen's going to make a beautiful bride. I got to see the sneak peek. A sneak peek. Yeah. yeah. The preview. It's going to be, like, so pretty. Thank you so much. Okay, I had such a good time. <laughs> We're like, <laughs> it's always a good time with Jen. I know. It's so nice, like, um, like hanging out with people. Because I never really had, I don't know about you, but I never really had people in my life who were going through the same thing. Like all my family and friends are super supportive and like they ask me about it and they're all like, well, this is amazing, that's amazing, good for it's you. It's a daily struggle. But it's different unless you yeah. know. And when someone says like, I know what you're going through. It just feels, yeah. yeah, it's so nice. So we have a great little support system going. Yeah, and I'm so excited that she started her, her journey as well. And I'm so excited to follow her. What is that? Sorry, my Excuse phone. Excuse me, we're vlogging! Um, yes, thanks to Jen. Jen is like a huge inspiration to me. Um, she helped me get on my journey. And also she motivated me. Motivated? No, I don't think that's the right word. Yeah. Yeah, motivated uh, inspired. me. Inspired. Both, whatever. Um, oh, we're not blocking. Okay. Um, to start my own page. My own Instagram account. It's scary at the beginning, isn't it? It's a little bit nervous. It's, it, <laughs> it's a little bit nervous. <laughs> like, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> it's, it's scary to put yourself out there because... When you do, you open yourself up to criticism and negativity. But let me tell you, from and you're accountable. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you yeah, off. Yeah, like, no, it's true. But like, you know, you have a community that's there and says like, you know, good work or keep that up or try this. And I love that. I, yeah. And I think like as a follower, um, like I started following Jen's page. Obviously, it helped me see what she does, and I want to help people like the way Jen helped me. So, so I'm so excited. If you want to follow her, I'm going to have her thingy somewhere here. 
and you can follow her on Instagram and give her support and yeah because you know that's what helped me is is having all that support and accountability that's what helps keep me going to this day is you guys and you you yeah. are like you yeah. are them right them I'm so hyper yeah, probably calm down amazing. okay so we already said goodbye yeah bye Jen why do you start talking again I don't know bye bye see, see you bye <laughs> Yo, camera girl! You can leave it if you want. It's nice. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm back um, from spending the day with Kata, and I'm so happy that she was able to come with me to go because you just, you always need like a second opinion. Um, and yeah, like definitely in the different lighting, I can tell that now that I was in like the salon, then outside, then in the car, now in my home, I can see that my face is a lot darker than my uh, chest and like my arms and everything. So I'm gonna have to have her go a shade lighter on that. But I really, as much as like, oh, my makeup's done professionally for once, I would love to like, when Jim comes home, like go out or something with makeup. But no, I have to take it off right now, even though it's only been a couple of hours because I already feel my face getting so itchy and it feels so suffocated and I need to just take this off and wash my face so that I don't break out this week for my wedding. So let's take off these. I've never had eyelashes before. Um, oh, so pretty. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, so how do I... I'm scared. How do I do this? Okay, uh, it feels fully on my eyes. <gasps> no. Guys, is this a joke? That's not coming off. <gasps> uh. <coughs> Oliver? Oliver? What are you whining about? Ow. 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 Okay. They're really tight on t <laughs> So attractive. They're really... They feel really... Excuse me. Ow. Ah. Wah wah. Ha. Wah wah. Do I just throw these guys at me? <laughs> Shush! Like are, are you, like, are you okay? What the heck are you doing? Oh, wow, I really looked orange there. So, yeah, we need... To, I'm very, very, um, pale. So, oh, this one came off easier. The other ones were so hurty. Okay. <laughs> now I gotta take off my makeup. Okay, so I use, like, proactive to wash my face, but... Because I never have makeup on, like, foundation and powder and blush and all that stuff, I never had makeup wipes. So I just found, like, these Equate brand from Walmart. <laughs> Hope they're good. I got oil-free. Do they say oil-free? Yeah, alcohol is oil-free for sensitive skin. We'll see, because everything that says sensitive skin ugh, is not true. I still get rashes and break out. Like, am I even... Do I do this over my eyes as well? Guys, you must think like I'm the most... Oh my god. You must think I'm the most like... Like the weirdest person ever who... Like, who's 32 years old and doesn't wear makeup? Or know how to remove makeup? Or whatever. Me. Because I never get to wear it. I would love to. You know how like pretty I feel when my skin is like even and smooth? It was so nice to feel that way for an hour or two while we were out. Something tells me I'm going to need a second one. Yummer. So Jim is coming home earlier today. He usually doesn't come home till like the night. And um, like more in the evening. So it'll be nice. I think we're going to go and take care of a few things that we need to take care of. But honestly, you know what would be nice? Sorry, I'm looking up at the viewfinder as my mirror. What would honestly be really nice would be to just go and grab a coffee with him. Sit and chat. Because it's all been wedding, 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 wedding all month. So just to do something like that would be so nice. Holy shit. 
So, yeah. And uh, I would like to do a workout with him because whenever I don't go to the gym for a while, and like last night I did go to the gym, but you know, you, I wasn't feeling pumped and motivated. So when I haven't gone to the gym for a while, I like when I go with Jim because he always like, huh, Jim, Jim. I like when I go with my fiance because it helps me to like motivate me. I guess I could use this on my eyes. I'm gonna need a third one. What are you gonna do, guys? Look how different I look. Wait, I wanna look all me. Like, I wanna look. I should wear makeup every day. You don't have sensitive skin and you can play with makeup. And oh my god, I'm like, I'm an artistic person. I like to, I like to draw and paint and make food and plate food and like, I like the art of it. And so I would love to, you know, do makeup and, and work with contouring and contour, contouring and do all this stuff. I would love to wear blush and not just like be monotone. Like, I would love that, but I can't unless I find really good makeup. But for me, anything, even moisturizer, and I get hypoallergenic for sensitive acne prone skin, but even moisturizer makes me um, break out because anything that's like on my pores, my skin gets all upset. It's like, get out of here. So, yeah, now we're back to the normal gen almost. Wah, wah. I like the way I look with the makeup. I like having the even skin tone. I like not have not seeing, like, the little, like, creases under my eyes. I like that. <sighs> okay, there's still stuff on here, but we're getting better. We're getting better. I'll finish it off with, like, my, my, um, my, pro my proactive cleanser. Okay, all right. I had to take the makeup off. I don't know if, oh, on Snapchat I told you about this pimple. Okay, so the stress of like the wedding and also my PNS, I usually get like one or two pimples and then some, a couple times a year I get these huge cystic, cystic um, acne pimples. They're so severe under the skin, really painful. Um, the last time I had them was in March. If you've been following my vlogs for a long time and you watched my wedding tasting, like we went to go taste the food of, of the wedding back in March, um, you'll have seen like the huge pimple there. And I get those a couple of times a year for stress or hormones, when the hormones are out of whack or whatever. And yeah, I started getting one right here. And when I would talk or eat or move, like I would see stars of the pain, from the pain. And I was like, oh God, oh God. So I was just putting, you know, tea tree oil and my the proactive little like mask and just trying to keep it down. And it's so far, it's been nice. It's got sore fingers. It's not like coming out. I think I got it all off. So I don't know if I'm gonna vlog again before my wedding. Um, I probably will, at least one other vlog or something. Um, I hope you enjoyed spending the afternoon with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.